Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I created this purple halo eye look with a glitter eyeliner. So if you want to see how I created this, then keep on watching. So for my skin, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the shade Natural. And to prime my eyes, I always use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is by far my favorite I have ever used. And the first shade that I'm going in with is Baby Cakes by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a very light shade, so you will barely see it. But still, like I always say in my videos, it's important to go in with the light shade first. So all the other eyeshadows that you will apply later on will blend in easy. Now I'm going to use the shade Hopstouch by Makeup Geek. This is slightly darker and it's just a very soft purple shade. Still on the very light side, but we're going to slowly build up by going uh, darker and darker. So I'm going to blend this in my crease from outer V to the inner V just all over the place and if you want more of that purple just pick up more product and it will slightly get darker in the crease. Now I'm going to use the shade Wisteria also by Makeup Geek. I'm going to do the exact same thing I'm going to blend this in my crease and the blending brush that I use is by Hair and Makeup Addiction and I believe it's from their flawless makeup kit makeup kit their flawless brush kit um, it contains a few purple brushes, but this one is very old, so I'm not sure if they sell it anymore. Now I'm going to use a purple eyeshadow from the Morphe 35B eye palette. And I'm going to press this purple shade at my outer V. And I'm also going to press this in my inner V. I'm not even sure if outer V is a word, but whatever. So I'm going to apply this on the right side of my eyelid and on the left side. And I will keep a empty space uh, in my center of the eyelid because I'm going to create a halo look and whenever I do a halo eye look I like to keep the middle part empty and pop a light shade in between. So now I'm going to use a Sigma E45 brush and I'm going around the edges using that same purple shade from the Morphe 35B palette. Now I'm going back in with the Makeup Geek Wisteria eyeshadow and I'm going to blend this around the edges because the purple shade from the Morphe palette is very dark, I need to make sure that the edges aren't harsh and well blended in into the other eyeshadows. Now I'm going to use the shade Macaroon by Anastasia Beverly Hills, a very pretty shade. I'm going to use my finger to apply this in the middle part of my eyelid. I don't know, but I feel like using your finger works pretty well. Now I'm going to use the Smashbox Primer Water on a brush and this will make the shade much more intense and I'm going to softly press this also in the middle part just to make sure that the shade is more obvious and pigmented if you know what I mean. I'm going back in with that purple shade from the Morphe 35B eye palette and my Sigma E45 brush and I'm softly going to blend this around the edges so it looks like the shade in the middle blends towards the other shades. Now I'm going to use those star liners by Natasha Denona and this is the purple one. You get a liquid liner and a glitter liner which is very cute. It was the first time using this. So I'm just going to use the uh, purple shade first to create my wing. And later on I will go on top of it with the glitter liner. And um, I don't know. I don't um, use glitter liner very often but hallelujah this eyeliner is really pretty. I own some of the Urban Decay glitter liners and some NYX liners, I'm not sure. Um, but I don't know, when I, when I apply the glitters on top of this, the glitters are just so obvious, you can really see them very nice, which I really liked about these. So I'm not sure if every brand does this, but it really stood out for me. So like I said, now I'm going right on top of it with step two, the glitter liner. And I waited first to, to um, let the other eyeliner dry and now I'm going to apply this right on top of it. And to make sure that the sparkles are very clear and you can see them really well, I applied uh, a lot of product. Well, it isn't really a lot of product, but I went over some places a few times to make sure that there was a lot of glitter. And it's so pretty as you can see. Now I'm going to reapply my concealer because I had a few fallout from the purple eyeshadow and I wanted the downside of my wing to be very sharp so I went right underneath it with a concealer brush. 
Now I'm going to use the shade Motone by Makeup Geek. And I'm going to apply this at the outer edge of my lower lash line. I want this shade to connect with my wing. So I try to pick up a shade that looks very familiar with that dark purple eyeliner. So I'm pressing this and softly blending this right underneath the lower lash line. Now I'm going to use this shade Fashion Addict by Makeup Geek. And this one is going in my inner corner. Not really in the inner corner, but at the inner part underneath the lower lash line. I'm using a very tiny brush by Dose of Colors. Now I'm going to use that macaroon shade again by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to pop this in the middle part, like just like I did on the center of my eyelid. And to make it more intense, I went in with that Smashbox Primer Water. If you don't have it, you can just use water or the MAC Fix Plus Spray. As long as it's wet. Now I'm going to use the Fascinating Eye Pencil by MAC and I'm going to pop this in the waterline. I didn't want it to go for purple, I really wanted my inner, inner, I really wanted my eyes to look really bright and I don't know, whenever I use this it makes my eye look really big. Now for my lashes, I use lashes from my own lash company and this is the style Feisty. You can use the code Anne for a discount, I will link it down in the description bar. And yes, now you can see them on the eyes. I did notice because I applied lashes that at my lash line you can't really see that sparkles anymore because my lash band is on top of it. So when you recreate this, I would suggest to do your eyeliner a little bit higher so you can still see those sparkles really well. But yes, this is already the end of the tutorial. I really hope that you enjoy watching it. And yes, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!